a pleasant good morning to everyone so here I am with the conclusion for Leviticus chapter 20 verses 7 and 8 so I'll first read and it says consecrate yourselves therefore and be holy for I am the Lord your God and you shall keep my statutes and perform them I am the Lord who sanctifies you and really and truly that scripture seems very simple and straightforward but as one dives deeply into all that the scripture has to offer it's very sobering and it's very encouraging so first of all I want to start off with the word consecrate the word consecrate is ka kordash right and it means to set apart and imagine God is telling us to set ourselves apart right he's he's literally telling us that we have a responsibility and you see when we set ourselves apart it is an active thing we take certain actions that speaks to ourselves and the world it says we are not like the world neither are we the same with everyone but we are special every individual is special with a special purpose and rather we think that we are just like somebody we should think we should know that we are special and we must seek for that special purpose which God created us for we should turn away from evil turn away from things that will cause us to be dirty that will cause us to be common that will cause us not to do or not to fulfill a special our special purpose the next word we want to look at is holy right because it says consecrate yourselves and be holy and the word holy is kodosh kodosh right and that one is an adjective while kodash which is consecrate is a verb which is telling you the action kodosh the adjective which is holy is telling you this is who you are right so it's saying put yourself apart for special use because you are holy so it's not that you're trying to do good things to make yourself holy through christ we are holy and because we are holy this is what we must do consecrate ourselves get ourselves um set apart right and it's like yahweh saying stay in that position this is who you are right you are holy you are pure through christ stay in that position and how do we stay in that position yes we accept the work of christ but also we continue to live it right then we want to look at how do we set ourselves apart right by keeping his statutes in verse 8 it says that we must keep his statutes and we must perform them and when we are talking about keep it it speaks of watching his statutes preserving 
his statutes, remembering his statutes, studying it, and focusing on his statutes. And that is the know-how. Um, I would say it's not a rocket science. God has laid it out plain in his word. We are holy through the work of Christ. Now let us set ourselves apart. And how do we stay there? By keeping the statutes.